Welcome to PC Tricks Guru YouTube channel and uh, in today's video I will talk about upgrading your existing Windows 10 operating system to Windows 11. So as we all know that Microsoft has already released Windows 11 stable build for everyone on 5th of October 2021 but uh, there is a condition. So all the devices they are not eligible to get the free Windows 11 upgrade because this time your PC it needs to have at least a eighth generation of processor and uh, there are two more things that are required the first one is that TPM 2.0 security so the motherboard it should have TPM 2.0 chip on it and uh, secure boot option should also be available in the BIOS so if your device meets these three uh, criterias then only you'll be able to install Windows 11 operating system otherwise you won't be able to install Windows 11 in your uh, in your machine so there is a catch actually uh, Microsoft has not said that you won't be able to install the operating system in the machine you will be able to install Windows 11 in the non supported uh, devices but for that you'll have to perform a clean installation and uh, Microsoft has said that even if you install Windows 11 on a non compatible device with the clean installation method you might not get the updates the security updates in future so that's also not a good thing because security updates it keeps your machine up to date and free from any kind of attacks or viruses so in this video let's uh, see that what can be done uh, to bypass this system check so if you have the ISO file available if you already have downloaded the ISO file and if you run the ISO file so during the installation, not during the installation, before the installation, during uh, the system check, you'll get this error. So your machine, it will give you the error that uh, this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements and there, what requirements are not met will be listed. So the machine which I'm using right now, its processor is not compatible, it's not supported by Windows 11. Why? Because the machine that I'm using, it is, uh, a system that has a Intel Core i5 7th generation of processor so as you can see here it's Intel Core i5 7200U so it's 7th generation processor the clock speed is good uh, the amount of memory that is installed in the machine is also good uh, the operating system that I'm using is Windows 10 professional genuine 21 H1 latest version is installed everything is good with the machine but it's not eligible for windows 11 free upgrade why just because it does not have an eighth generation of processor which is very disappointing because uh, i already have tested windows 11 operating system on this machine and that was running smooth i did not face any kind of problem with windows 11 so i don't understand why microsoft is forcing the users to buy a new machine even the machines that you have purchased two years ago that have seventh generation processors so uh, purchasing a new machine just to be able to use windows 11 it is not uh, justifiable actually so well it's marketing strategy and microsoft knows that uh, it has to partner uh, with the, the system manufacturers and it has to boost their sales as well so that's why all these marketing tricks are being played with the users and microsoft is giving it the name of security that for the security purpose users are required to use eighth generation of processor but i don't think so and let it be let it whatever it is let it be let's uh, go back to the main task for which i am creating this video so for uh, upgrade process what you need to do the very first thing that you have to do is to download the windows 11 iso file from the microsoft uh, official website itself so you can go to microsoft.com software download website and there if you scroll down you'll be able to see the option to download windows 11 disk image so there you have to select windows 11 click on download and then it will ask you to select the language so go to the list of the language and select english and click on conf confirm after clicking on confirm it will give you the link to download windows 11 english iso and yes you will not get 
32 bit of operating system 32 bit windows 11 is not available it will be 64 bit only so if you click on here the iso file will be downloaded and once it is downloaded keep it in the machine now the second thing that we need is a script so i will share you the link of the script or the blog post that i have created in the description of the video and then you can download it from here so this is the link here on the website you can click on bypass script link after clicking on the bypass script link the script will be downloaded click on save save it to the desktop or wherever you like and then uh, right click on it and click on extract files after clicking on extract files you will be able to get the folder in which the script is available so just double click on it and then you'll see some files skip tpm check on dynamic update version 2 so this is the file that we need to run right click here and click on run as administrator after clicking on run as administrator you'll see a powershell command that runs and you can see that it has been installed on the machine so once this script is installed it will bypass the system check for tpm for processor and for secure boot so once you run this setup you will not see any kind of error and you will be allowed to install the operating system windows 11 operating system without any data loss so it will be a direct upgrade from windows 10 to 11 you just have to run the setup directly from the windows 10 operating system so let me go to the d drive here where i have kept all my iso files and this is the windows 11 english right click on the setup and click run as administrator we can close it and now the setup file will initiate shortly so as you can see that uh, the windows setup is preparing for the installation and it should be completed in a few seconds so we just have to wait while this process is going on and uh, it should be done soon okay so now here it asks us to install windows 11 and it's uh, asking us that uh, it will check for the recent updates drivers and other optional features if you want to check for updates if you want to install the recommended drivers and other optional features you can just click on next and uh, if you do not want you can click on change how setup downloads the updates and uh, click on not right now so right now I won't uh, take much time so that's why I'll just click on not right now and click on next after clicking on next it will check the PC so at this step it gives us the error if you do not install the script you'll get the same error which we uh, got earlier which uh, for which I took the screenshot this error message you'll get the PC does not currently meet the Windows 10 uh, 11 system requirements so as you can see that we did not get that error and it's giving us the license agreement we can just click on accept and uh, then it's checking for the other things that are needed for the windows 11 installation so before the installation begins the setup it gives us a warning that says that uh, the machine on which we are trying to install windows 11 it's not compatible and uh, Microsoft warns us that if we install Windows 11 on this machine the system it might not be stable uh, there might be some um, uh, conflicts with the drivers or there might be some errors with the operating system and you might not get the security updates as well in future on the non compatible devices well uh, there's nothing like this if you run the script you'll be able to get all the updates as well because I already have tested it and that's why I'm saying so you just have to click on accept here click on accept and then I let it do its work now it's checking that whether you have the enough space available in C drive or not so I do have space available and then it will ask you that uh, what do you want to keep if you want to keep your personal files and applications good leave it as it is and simply click on install but if you want to do a fresh installation you can click on choose what to keep and then select uh, the appropriate option from these so if you want to keep the personal files only and remove all the applications that have been installed in your existing Windows 10 operating system you can select the second option and if you want to do a fresh installation if you want to completely erase everything and do a proper fresh installation click on nothing and then click on next so I will use keep personal files and apps and click on next after clicking next 
it will give you the option again to uh, install start the installation and here is the install button so once you click on install the windows installation screen will appear and it will show you the progress bar that uh, how much installation have been has been completed so uh, right now i'm not going to install it because that will take time and uh, personally i did not like windows 11 very much because uh, the layout of the windows 11 although it looks fancy it has new animations rounded corners everything but uh, it didn't feel so good to me because i like sim simplicity and windows 10 is uh, enough for me and it doesn't have that many animations and it doesn't have so many useless things that a user doesn't want and one more thing in windows 11 like uh, i use the snipping tool a lot of times and uh, the most convenient way for me is to just click on here and then click on screen snip but in windows 11 this option has been removed you won't be able to get these options in windows 11 so that was also a disappointment and that is why i rolled back from windows 11 to windows 10 because i liked windows 10 more and instead of uh, using the windows 11 i think it's good for me to use uh, windows 10 and one more thing i noticed that uh, uh, in windows 11 the system performance was also impacted a little the machine got a little slow and uh, when i was trying to open the folders or whenever i was trying to open some settings it was taking a few seconds and in windows 10 whatever i click it opens just instantly so that's why i like windows 10 more and i don't think that even if i get a new computer i would be upgrading to windows 11 for soon and uh, that's everyone's personal choice if you want to use windows 11 i would recommend you to run the script and upgrade your machine to windows 11 and check that whether it suits you or not whether you like it or not if you do not like it you can always roll back to windows 10 operating system within a week of the installation so that's all for these, uh, this video and uh, before we end the video I would suggest you to please uh, uh, click on subscribe button, subscribe to the channel so that uh, we can grow and uh, click on the bell icon as well so that any video if uh, uh, there will be any video that I'll be uploading you'll get a notification. Click on like as well and if you have any questions please uh, put them in the comment section and I will be happy to answer you. And uh, before we end the video, let me show you that how can we undo the changes that were made by running the script. So whatever changes that uh, the script made, uh, the uh, bypass thing that can be removed by running the script again. So you just have to open the folder and you have to rerun the script. So right click on the script, click on run as administrator and then you'll see that it's now removed so the changes that have been made have been revoked and uh, the system is in the previous state again so i hope you like the video so thank you again and make sure to subscribe to the channel thank you for your time keep visiting pc tricks guru youtube channel keep sharing it with your friends so that they can also use the uh, tricks and tips that i share through my channel so that's all and uh, have a good day bye, -bye.